You know, everybody has a special place they go to. For some, it might be a shrine or a church of some kind or a quiet spot or maybe just a legion in their town. But for me, when I get a chance these days, this is where I come. The biggest duct tape factory in the world, and it's right here in Canada, in London, Ontario. And now, because you're a special person, you're gonna get to see how they make duct tape. I got chills. Come on in. What you're looking at here are all the ingredients they use to make duct tape. It's a big stack of rubber. It comes from the Far East. They come in blocks like that. Make a great eraser for doing the lodge books, wouldn't it? Let me show you something else here. That's why balls aren't square. Now this stuff comes all the way from Texas. This is called resin. It's kind of an oil product. It tastes really salty too. And this, here's the Canadian ingredient. You know the Great White North, they call it? It's actually calcium carbonate. It comes all the way from Perth, Ontario. Look at that, eh? And then finally we get to the making the sandwich for the duct tape. That's the filling. One crust is this stuff here. It's called scrim. It's like a fiberglass. Looks like it came off, uh, came out of somebody's harem or wedding or both. And then the other side, of course, is the, this is what you're familiar with. Look, this is a polyethylene backing on here. Looks like an astronaut's garbage bag. You put them all together, you got yourself duct tape. Well, you can see here on the machine, it's got the scrim going and the polyethylene backing. That's all running together up here. That's, that's the sandwich is starting to be made right now. And now up in here, they bring in the glue and they heat her way up. Because I think it's 250 degrees they bring it to. And it goes into this machine, which is called a calendar. And uh, what happens is there's no dates in this calendar. What they do is they put the glue in between the two layers and it all squishes together and comes out the other end and heads out. And once it comes out of the calendar, basically it's duct tape, but it's real hot duct tape and it's wide duct tape and it's not on a roll yet. So they run it through all these rollers and get it a chance to cool down and everything. Put it onto a gigantic roll of duct tape like the one you see behind me, which would be ideal if you had a fleet of K-carts or something. But now we got to cut her down a little bit. So those big rolls are actually called jumbos. And what they do is this is a cutter that cuts several different rolls at the same time, actually two layers, but it's all coming off the same roll. And then it, look how it takes it off and it puts brand new cores on there. And this is like, I think I'd rather watch this than the Learning Channel. Look at that. And away we go and look how many rolls of duct tape they can make in uh, just a few hours. My golly, I think I got to get a room here. Where do you see this baby here? This is called a sleever, and this is what takes it from those rolls you saw us cut into the final thing that you end up buying in the store. This machine's got everything going for it. All the little rolls of duct tape feed in, and then this little plastic sleeve goes over top of them. And then they got this shrink wrap unit. It stamps down and kind of shrinks the ends together. And then they go into a little oven, but first they, they get spinning around when they go through the oven to kind of get the whole thing shrunk up. Then they go down farther down the line, and they get picked up in bunches by this robot. These arms come in, they pick up the rolls of duct tape, and they drop them into these cartons. And then the cartons go down the end, and they get shipped out. And then they, we're fine, we got her into the stores. And that's pretty much it uh, for making duct tape. I really hope you enjoyed your tour of the duct tape plant. And now, if you'll excuse me, I really got to head back to the lodge.